Are you able to see on your screen? Uh, it's Yes, yes, I got it. Are you able to see on your screen, Bhutan? Yes, I can see clearly. Hello. Hello, yes, I can see clearly. Oh, wait a second, Bhutan. Your voice is coming very slow. You can use charge me. Lead, have a lead. Lead loud. Yes, how about yes, how now? About can you hear, hear me a bit more clearly? clearly? Yes. I can hear you clearly, however. I can hear you clearly. Oh, yes, I, I know that you are able to hear me clearly, Vita. Give me a second. So, we have to continue uh, from there where we are and. Yes, that's, yes, right. that's right. Okay, let me open we my voice. We have a combination of errors. So we were talking about addition and subtraction. Oh, it's yes. that, uh, yeah, give me one second. Let me insert my earphone. Give me a second. Hello? Oh, yes, here. Okay, so let me start. So I have to explain you addition and subtraction of errors, okay? I'm going yes, to explain you better. So first of all that I have to open my WhatsApp screen so yeah, that sure. you will be whatever that I will write that because your class is recording now, okay? All right, sure. Yes, yes. So all the things that I will explain you here that after few hours that I'll upload that. And uh, you will be able to see each and everything, whatever that I will explain here in your class, okay? Okay. Uh, give me a second, give me a second. Arjit Mark. Oh, sorry. Any of picture that I can open with, okay? Any of okay. picture. Uh, can Any you scroll up a bit before that, before that picture? Can you scroll uh, back? A scroll back? That means of yeah, previous but, picture? Yes, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. I will, I will explain this one to you. Okay. But uh, before that, I have to Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm opening that again, but actually I didn't increase that. That's why. So you have to do that one. This 
system is not working. I am not understanding why. Give me one second. I will explain you my way that will be convenient for you to understand. Addition and subtraction that will be yes. Now we can start that. Just see on your screen. Yes, I'm seeing. Suppose that two limiting errors of two physical quantities, okay? All right. If two physical quantities Quantities are X and Y, okay? Okay. And their limiting error and limiting error errors are del X and del Y, okay? Yes. You can take plus minus over here, plus minus del x and plus minus del y. Why I'm taking plus minus because that is square root of that one that means either the value can increase or decrease. Okay, that's why that simply you can understand that. Okay. Okay. And uh, now suppose that an equation that is z equals to firstly I'm explaining addition. Okay. Okay. Z equals to X plus Y. Okay. All right. In that condition, let limiting error is the sum Z is del Z. Okay. Okay. Let the limiting error limiting error of Z is del Z. Okay. okay. What does limiting error mean, though, in that case? Let me li limiting error. That means whatever error you would like to analyze. Okay. Whatever error that you will analyze, that is your limiting error. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Miss, you can also understand. Miss, suppose that when. The quantities that will involve in final calculation okay then errors that will associated with the measurement okay of all the quantities that will affect the end result okay that's why it is known as limiting error okay oh i now i get it now i get it now i get it yes so basically the limiting error is a combination of systematic error and random error it's a combination yes, of yes, all yes, errors yes 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 oh okay okay yeah, yeah yes. i understand it and then, so in that condition, your equation is z equals to x plus y. All right. Then it will be equals to, uh, like you can write there, z plus del z. Okay. Del plus minus del z equals to, equals to. x plus minus del x and plus y plus minus del y. Do you understand it? Yes, 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 I understand. Yes, because del x, del y, and del z, I am including with that limiting error, okay? Okay. So, then, 
One question. Uh, here you wrote z plus or minus del z. So yeah. are you going to uh, cancel out the z as well? Because in the, because in the equation there is no del z. So are you going to cancel the del z out? No, you don't have to cancel. When you cancel x, y, and z. Oh, okay. Or del z equals to you can write there del x plus del y. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. I see now. I see. Now. Okay, means plus minus. You can write there. Yes. Plus yes. minus del x plus plus minus del y. Okay. Oh. So that means what? That means then maximum possible error. Maximum possible error. So maximum possible error that can be represented by del z equals to del x plus del y. Okay. Yeah. There will be no negative sign here. Okay. In maximum possible error. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I yes. See. So I explained here the addition of two quantities. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, ne oh, sorry. Here I have to. Write Right, the heading that will be much convenient for you to understand that. Give me yes. a second. Yeah. Yes, addition. Addition of two quantities. Okay. Now next is your subtraction of two quantities, okay? Yes, that's right. Subtraction. Subtraction of two quantities, two or more, any else that you can take. Many quantities can also be there. Okay, subtraction of so fundamentally subtraction of two quantities that I'm explaining. So that means the law is basically it's the same. That means if I just law which I use for addition, I can use that for three or four different quantities as well, right? Yes. And the law will still be the same. Similarly, yes. I can use it uh, the subtraction for two quantities, but I can also use it for three or four quantities as well. It's the same thing. Yes, yes, same thing, same thing, same thing. Oh, that will okay. be same. Yes. So the principle is what matters, not the number of data, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So suppose that two quantities, their difference is defined as z equals to x minus y. All right. Okay. Yes. And their limiting errors are del x, del y, and del z. So regarding to that one, you can write there. You can write there z plus minus del z equals to x plus minus del x minus y plus minus del y. Do you understand it? Oh, yes, so you're adding the error of x and you're subtracting it with the error of y. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yes. Condition it will be z plus minus z equals to x minus y plus minus del x plus del y. Okay, yes, that's right. You know that x minus y is also defined as z in your equation. That yes, is, that's right. you can write that plus minus del z equals to plus minus del x minus plus minus del y, y. Oh, sorry here will be y give me a second here will be y sorry y and here will be y okay so here clearly you can understand that uh, addition of quantities and subtraction of quantities that will be finally the sum of quantities okay Ah, yes, 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 I understand. If you take plus or minus out, outside in brackets, then it's just a sum of both quantities. Yes, that means you can see this one, what I did here. And you can see that this one, that is here. Okay, the same thing. That means you can analyze that when two quantities are added or subtracted. Okay. Okay. The limiting error in the final result that will be the sum of limiting error of the quantities involved okay oh okay okay yes yes that is right that is right once again i'll take a screenshot of this i understand this one i'll just take a screenshot yes
Do you think that I have to write that one, whatever that I told you just before? Oh, no, no, that's not necessary. I'll just take a screenshot of this one directly. And then we can move on to product and question. Yes, yes. Then I'll explain product because and question. Because this one's actually very clear now. Now I know how, <laughs> how, how, how they came up with the formulas which they have written down. Beta, that's why you are studying by me. <laughs> Yes, there we go. I completely took a screenshot. So yeah, I think we can clear the screen now, and I think we can move on to the product tool, I guess. No need to clear the screen. We can get down. <laughs> okay. okay. So sure, no next is your multiplication. Okay. A product. Right. Product. I am explaining. Product. Yeah. Product. So that means product regarding to that again just take a equation like z equals to x into y okay okay x x into y so now again if they are uh, limiting quantities that will del x del y del z I'm not writing that one okay because okay. Now it is convenient to understand that then it will be z plus minus del z equals to x plus minus del x into y plus minus del y. Oh, so this can be for different letters. It can be for x, y, z, a, b, c, so on. And yeah, any, any, yes, any, oh, give me one second. Uh, give me one second, give me one second. Someone is messaging me on one student. check my schedule I will inform you in an hour okay so now it will be so z plus del z equals to x plus del x into y plus del y okay okay now you have to multiply that one so when you multiply that then it will be x y plus x y plus minus x into del y plus minus y into del x okay and uh, plus minus del x into del y okay okay actually since del x into del y that is very least quantity okay as compared to other so we can neglect this one okay uh, neglect which one which one can you del x into del y okay since del x into del y is very small so we can neglect that okay okay yes so hence in that condition what will be there so hence it will be finally you'll get there your equation that will be del z equals to x del y plus minus will be also there x del y plus minus y del x okay okay clear yes it's clear now most important thing is that um, dividing both side by z okay both sides by z oh okay okay why do we do that I am explaining that 
dividing both sides by z okay so when you'll do so so it will be del z upon z okay yes del z upon z and then on other side you will have plus minus del y upon y and plus minus del x upon x clear uh, okay okay miss dividing by z okay dividing both side by z so in that condition you will get this one okay miss yes. z del s del z upon z equal, equals to plus minus del y upon y plus minus del x upon x okay or you can write this one also del z upon z equals to del y or oh, sorry del x you can write there now del x upon x plus del y upon y okay that means in product okay in product the limiting okay and also yeah also you can understand that del z upon del z where where del z upon z del y upon y and del x upon x okay they are relative errors okay relative errors okay relative errors errors okay okay in x y z okay in terms of in terms x y z yeah understand uh, now, yes, yes. Yes. Now, in this condition, what will be percentage error? Okay. So, percentage error, percentage error, percentage error that you have multiply on both sides 100. So, percentage error that means it will be del z upon z multiplied by 100 equals to del x by x multiplied by 100 plus del y by y multiplied by 100 clear yes that's right understand Peter? yes this one is so right. it is your main equation okay oh so del x upon x times 100 percent plus del y upon y upon 100 percent yes, yes. fundamentally i explained that to you this one when there will be product rule then your quantities can be written in this way del z by del z equals to del x by x plus del y by y okay oh i see i see so but just just one thing i want to know i'm i, I why do we didn't do uh, why do we call this maximum fractional error like here in the text it says maximum fractional error so what did it mean by that Maximum fractional, but maximum fractional error that always that will be in positive. Okay. Ah. Okay. 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 Maximum fractional error. Okay. Miss. Wait. Actually, uh, you can understand in this way. Wait a second. I can tell you. Uh, what is the way? Miss, firstly, you can do that normal error and maximum possible error that will be always positive, okay? Yes. Maximum possible error, okay? That will always be positive, okay? Yes. Either you are multiplying or dividing, okay? So, it is your multiplication. Now, next is your, do you understand this one? Yes, yes. So, we divide them basically by terms so for example that's why that why upon y z upon z right yes so uh -huh. you can take a screenshot beta because i will scroll down and then it will disappear here okay let's see. yeah took a screenshot i took a screenshot great so there's now. one there's one last question here which is not last then more portion Quotient, yeah, I am going to explain. But I, not yeah. a quotient, I will explain I, as usual that exponential form also. Okay, or oh, okay. quantity. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, doesn't matter of that. So, we can do that. Uh, 
divide divide okay power and quotient okay so let's consider quotient rule quotient or division yes so question or division again you can consider equation suppose that z equals to x or y okay understand yes now it will be z plus minus del z equals to x plus minus del x upon y plus minus del y clear what? Yes, that's right. Or you can write in this way. Wait. Therefore, it can be x plus minus del x and uh, y plus minus del y to the power minus 1. Okay? Understand? Yes, that's right. That's right. Minus 1, that's right. Okay. So indirectly that it will be in product form or you can write in this way. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you in a very convenient way. Uh, Z plus minus del Z equals to, you can take X and Y common on both. Okay, in both. So it will be X in parenthesis 1 plus minus del X upon X into Y plus 1 plus minus del y upon y to the power minus 1. Do you understand it? Times 1 minus. So you take x as a common factor to so x plus del x upon del y over, you take y outside, so it's y, y minus. to the power minus 1. So 1 plus del y. So in that case, del y, uh, y does not change. Similarly, del x and x does not change when you take it out, right? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Means we are taking y to the power minus 1 outside and x outside, okay? Oh, okay. So okay. now in that condition, it will be x over y, 1 plus minus del x by x and uh, 1 plus minus del y by y to the power minus 1. Do you understand it? Yes, yes, yes. The z plus minus del z. Now, z and x by y, they will cancel there, okay? Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Understand? Yes, you cancel them out. Yeah. So, in that way, uh, Oh my God! One thing that I did wrong here. So no, no, miss, miss, uh, nothing that I did wrong here. You can take, uh, you can take uh, z also outside. Okay, so it will be like z and one plus del z by z. Sorry, okay, equals to x by y and uh, one plus minus del x by x and. 1 plus minus del y by y to the power minus 1. I hope you understand this step. Yes, yes, yes. yes now, yes. now in that condition, z and x by y, they will cancel, okay? Oh, okay. okay yes, okay. yes. Because it is not possible that here in this condition, because it is in addition form. So from here, it is not cancelled there, okay? So, yes. in, that, in that way, in that way you can write there uh, if you will expand you, you can see that expanding with the help of binomial theorem oh my god do you know about binomial theorem we haven't studied that yet it's not oh my god. so 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 you have just you have to learn only that okay i am i'm telling you you just have learned that simple so that means finally you will get here one plus del z upon z equals to it will be 1 plus del x upon x okay and yes. plus minus and uh, plus minus it will be del y upon y okay plus minus 
del x del y upon x y okay it will be there okay oh okay 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 yes because binomial expansion if you will expand with respect to binomial expansion then uh, we have to take only higher power of del y by y okay oh okay okay, okay. means what what does it mean it means that if you will expand this one Yes. Only this one okay so it will be equals to if you'll expand this one then it will be 1 plus minus del y upon y plus minus and then dot 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 it will go further okay oh, okay, okay, okay okay yes so because a uh, 1 plus x uh, 1 plus x to the power n 1 plus nx plus n and minus 1 upon factorial 2 and n minus 2 upon factorial 3 onwards it will expand okay Oh, okay, okay. Yes, sir. we will study that in binomial theorem. And uh, means it doesn't matter of here to understand that. Simply you have to do that. Normally division. Okay, last term. Okay, you can understand that last term as compared. Okay, last term is small as compared other terms so that we can neglect that. Last term that is this one. That's del y upon x y okay it is very small oh so the more the, the more the more del is added to a single term that means the more smaller it becomes this yeah the change. very That's small it. so neglected oh um, okay, okay okay yes so yes, now yes. finally whatever you will get there you will get here i think that i can't scroll down so i'm going to write there Okay, can I write over here? Simple. Yeah, yeah, sure, I can see it. Yes, yes, just see that. A little bit I am writing there. That will be much convenient to understand better. So, red in color I am writing, so there will be no problem. So, that means finally, if your last term that is very small, so one, you can take one common from here, okay? Mm -hmm. yes. You can take common one from here, okay, and then one be cancel finally that you will get maximum possible error that is maximum possible possible error that will be equals to del z upon z equals to del x by x plus del y by y okay, okay, okay. understand and yes. then percentage error percentage error percentage error that means multiplied by 100 so del z by z multiplied by 100 equals to del x by x multiplied by 100 plus del y by y into 100 clear yes so it is so that means you are seeing that in multiplication and now you are seeing in division that maximum possible error that is same huh Essentially, yes, that's right. So you have to understand that when two quantities will be multiplied or divide, the fractional error is the final result. Okay. Okay. Is the sum of the fractional errors of the quantities to be multiplied or divided. Okay? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Understand? Yes, I'll just, yes, I'll just take a screenshot of this. Yes, and then... Yeah, I'll take a screenshot. And there's one, there are two more cases I need to learn about. One is del u upon u is equal to plus minus p times del x upon x, which is constant power, or something like that. Right. One, one extra. One extra, I am explaining Actually, that to here. Power of yeah. measured quantity, okay? Yeah, 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 that one, that one, that one. Where you, uh, yeah. if u is equal to x power p, and then there's another. Yeah, yeah, power, yeah. yeah. Power quantities. sorry quantity oh yes that's right so power quantities you can consider like z equals to z equals to suppose x to the power m you can take okay yes taking log both side in your previous class i explained that when any function will be in power form so you can do simply taking log both side okay Okay. That is, it will be log z 
equals to m log x okay understand yes oh my god uh, beta one more thing that here you have to differentiate you have to differentiate yeah differentiate. Oh, okay. so dz over dx right differentiating both side oh okay so then you'll get here log z over z equals to m because m is constant log x over x okay um. yes so it will be your quantity and maximum and maximum percentage error so percentage error so it is your question yes and maximum percentage error that will be log z over z multiplied by 100 equals to m times log x by x times 100 that's it okay oh log z over z is equal to m times log x over x okay yes. so percentage error is log 2 upon log z upon z times oh. 100 which is equal to m times log x upon x times 100 okay this is it is very convenient way to understand and relax none of the teacher in the world can say it is wrong okay okay <laughs> because that i also studied in a very very intelligent professor's beta so that's why that if you will study in this way 100 percent you had seen in your last class that and also you get your uh, respective result so I explained this one with error analysis here addition subtraction multiplication and division okay okay yes uh, if I can explain you can I explain you one question over there yeah uh, there's more thing before we move on to questions called general case one second, I think it's better if I send you a picture in WhatsApp about this one. One second, I'm just sending it to you. Because this way you'll know exactly what it is. Otherwise, it's really hard for me to describe this general case. Because basically, there are five cases given to me. One second, I'm just sending it to you in WhatsApp right now. Five cases? What yeah, type we have, of five? Uh, five cases of error. We have already discussed four of them, but there's one more case to discuss. One second, I'm just sending it to you in WhatsApp. I know the error. Systematic error. Instrumental error. Oh uh, no no no! This is a formula. This is a formula. This is a formula. Okay, let me see that. I think that uh, summation type formula. If you are saying that, then I it's can a, it's not summation. It. It's not summation. Can you see it? the image in WhatsApp? It's uh, yes, it's not a circle. Uh, the one which says general case. That one. The question which says general case. Uh, hold on. I think that. Uh, I can see here much clearly on a screen. Give me a okay, second. Okay, sure. Uh, do you take a screenshot of that? Already, yes. Okay, great. Because that now I'm refreshing that, so it will come in its initial stage. It's coming. So you send me this one, huh? Yes. Oh, no, no, above, above, above. This is just an example question. Yeah, this one, general case. We already discussed oh. constant power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This type of question I was going to explain you. Okay. Okay. General general case means suppose that anything that is given to you, okay in power, okay? Okay. Anything that will be given to power means I can I can explain you with the help of example, okay? Just okay. here. Um, 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 there is a fundamental formula that uh, the gravity, okay? Gravity. The, in in the concept period of oscillation, okay, 
okay oxidation periodic okay. oxidation okay? okay period of oxidation that can define as uh, by formula t equals to 2 pi under root l by g okay T okay. equals to 2 pi time period simply you can understand that T equals to 2 pi and root L by G okay suppose yes. that a period of oxidation that is about 0 0.5 okay yes period of oxidation okay yes oxidation is 0 0.5 okay, okay. and uh, and the Time of 100 oxidation has been measured, okay? 100 oxidation. The time of 100 oxidation, 100 oxidation. Okay. By stopwatch, okay? Oxidations okay. are measured. Measured by stopwatch. Watch. Of one second re resolution okay uh, okay yes so suppose that if you want to get the percentage error to determine g okay okay means percentage error of g you have to determine so first of all that by your uh, time period formula firstly subject g uh, okay so when you will subject a G, then it will be G equals to T square uh, what? <coughs> no, 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 no. I'm doing that wobbly. Give me a second. So G equals to G equals to okay, I understand that. It will be 4 pi square l oh sorry for seems pi kind of square. complicated <laughs> no, no 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 oh sorry you are feeling complicated no dear wait a second wait a second sorry, my mistake so for that i am going to explain you do you know that how to make a subject uh yeah just just uh, do just divide it up i, I i've done that one. no 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 Actually, that here you have to make GS subject, okay? GS so, subject. do you think that you can write uh, like this one? Uh, you can write that like uh, T upon 2 pi equals to under root L by G. Do you think yes, that you can write in this way? Yes, that's right. It's carrying both sides, okay? So, it will be T square upon 4 pi equals to L by G, it will be or not? Yes, that's right. Should and then be 4 pi square also? Oh yeah, four pi square. Sorry. Okay. Yes, right. So yes. that means that therefore, if you would like to mix uh, by cross multiplication, you can write there g equals to g four equals pi to four pi, pi square, square l pi upon t square. T square. Yeah. Same that. The same thing I was telling you in okay. verbal. <laughs> okay. So in that condition so they are asking that find the percentage error in determination of g suppose it's a random question i am taking beta so in that way what we have to do first you can do one thing yeah give me one second yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Yeah, sure, sure. So in that condition, beta, your equation is g equals to four pi square l by t square. Okay. Yes. So fractional error. Now, the main question that is starts over here. So okay. running to this equation, okay fractional error fractional fractional error yeah let me drink some water yes so but fractional error of g that can be defined as It can be defined as how? 
del G by G equals to del L by L and minus twice of del T by T. Okay? Okay. You can ask me a question that, sir, why you are taking that minus 2 del T by T? When you can also write in uh, write this one g equals to 4 pi square 4 pi square l and t to the power minus 2 or not yes that's right so 4 pi square that is your constant if you want to write fractional error then you can write del g over g in product rule i explained that to you that it will be product will also be equals to their individual quantity Okay, like that. So it will be del L by L and plus del T, del T by T. Okay, fundamentally. Yes, that's right. But bete, here power is 2. Okay, so this power, because that power format that I explained that to you, power will come before or not. So that's why yes. this power will come over here to and here is minus power so the, it will be minus 2 okay oh, okay okay that's why you can see that i wrote this one here del g by g equals to del l by l minus 2 del t by t clear yes that's clear that's it is your fractional error beta okay now maximum fractional error just see that in maximum maximum fractional error fractional error now you can understand that everything that will be in positive in maximum fractional error that is gel g by g equals to del l by l plus 2 del t by t okay yes because maximum value i told you that will always be positive okay yes that's right clear yes this what's clear so after then whatever values that will be given to you you can plug in over there suppose that uh, means uh, you can take that uh, length that is about 10 centimeter approximately okay yes and uh, one mm of accuracy okay given L equals to 10 okay and accuracy they are saying that 1 mm of accuracy okay yes 1 mm accurate suppose that okay I'm thinking about that okay length L equals to 10 and 1 mm accurate okay 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 and oscillation that I told you oscillation again I'm writing here oscillation oscillation that is your 0 0.5 second okay so now you can do that percentage fractional error okay maximum fractional error that is this percentage fractional error percentage fractional error fractional error that will be del G by G into 100 equals to del L by L into 100 plus 2 del T del T by T into 100. Clear beta? Oh, uh, yes, 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 yes. Now, uh, length that is given 10. Okay, del L that will be beta, del L. 1 mm accurate, that is your given del L, okay? Okay, del L. Yes. And time period T, T that is given 0.5 second, okay. T that is given 0.5 second and a del T how we will consider, del T just I explained that to you that is, that is uh, means uh, 100 oscillation has been measured, okay, 100 oscillation, so del T will be equals to 1 upon 100, okay, 1 upon 100, okay, yes, second. Okay, oh. because 100 oxidation you are taking, so what will be the difference in time period with respect to 100? So that means that's why that I am doing that delta equals to 
1 by 100 second. So you will get there 0 0.01. Okay? 0 0.01. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Now you can plug in your all the values. Okay? So, uh, del G by G, del G by G into 100 maximum. Okay? Maximum fractional error. And you can plug your values del L. Del L is your 0 0.1 upon L that is your oh wait I think that I have to write that write down in a red color. Yes. That will be much convenient for you to understand that because I am plugging values over here. So that means del L that is your 0 0.1 0 0.1 divided by length that is your 10 centimeter multiplied by 100 okay yes that's and right plus twice del t del t that is your 0 0.01 upon time period that is given 0 0.5 okay yeah i wrote there time period yeah. oscillation your yeah, time period 0 0.5 second and multiplied by 100 okay so now you have to calculate oh, okay, that. Okay. I think that uh, 10, 10, 10. So it will be 1%. Okay. And plus 2 into 5 to 10. It will be 2 into 2%. Okay. 2% okay. So that means 1% and 4% total 5%. Okay. So that means I, I hear that we find there that percentage error in the determination of G, okay? Determination of G, okay, yes. So that means fundamentally you have to expand your formula. You have to find, you have to subject from the formula which one that you want to get your quantity, okay? Subject that quantity and then apply that addition, subtraction, multiplication, division over there to get your answer. Oh, I understand this one, I understand this one. Understand? Yes, 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 I understand this one. Well, well sir, actually, now I actually have to leave you a little early because I have to have dinner now, actually. In oh, my no, time. no problem, but uh, there is only yeah. five minutes sometimes yes, that yes. Uh, I give extra time to you. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. So, I hope you understand this one. Also, example that also explained that to you, Bita. So, we will do in your next class this type of questions, whatever that you want to understand, okay? Definitely, yeah, definitely. So, thanks for your time. Thanks yeah, for your thanks. time. Thanks for today, Vita. Have a great time yeah, and this class that will be uploaded within a few hours on YouTube channel, okay? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, sure. thanks, Vita. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.